let's talk about hunting and what it has to do with these fish. So we are talking about predator haps and how they hunt for smaller cichlids like small imbuna and sometimes small haps in Lake Malawi. So the first one we're going to talk about is the Nimbochromus fusco. This is an ambush predator and these are beautiful fish. This guy is nowhere near maturity and uh, excited to watch him grow. Next is the Nimbochromus linny. Now the linny, as you can see, has a very different looking snout. Different from all the rest by a lot. What the linny does in the lake is it uses that snout to suck small cichlids out of cracks and crevices in the rocks. Super awesome fish, unique and uh, is going to develop nice blues. Next we got the Nimbochromus venustus. Now I did some research on him and I read that in the wild they can bury themselves into the sand some and then wait for their prey to swim by and then quickly snatch them. The Nimbochromus venustus. Now this guy is unique. The Aristochromus christii, known as the Malawi hawk. These fish will hover over their prey in a sideways form and then strike on their prey. To see it in action is super cool. And um, I wish I could catch it for you. Maybe one of these days I will. The Aristochromus Christii. Here's the Dimidiochromus Strigatus, another hunter. We got the Dimidiochromus Compressiceps. This one hunts for small cichlids in planted areas of the lake. Dimidiochromus Compressiceps, the Malawi eye biter. This is my Champsochromus calarius, the Malawi trout. Uh, excited to see this guy starting to form. You can see those egg spots on the tail. You can see some colors coming in. Uh, this is going to be a sweet fish to watch develop. Uh, and these are more open water swimmers, so they are going to catch their prey in more open water. The Champsochromus calarius, Malawi trout. Look at this beauty, wild caught Buchochromus nototania, absolutely stunning quality, straight from the lake. Now these fish like to hunt their, um, their prey in sandy bottom areas of the lake. Super amazing cichlid, one of my favorites by far. And the Buchochromus rhodesii yellow does the same. Let's see, we got the Lynchnochromus acuticeps, known as the Malawi gar, another hunter of the lake. As you guys can see, the Fusco is uh, really starting to run some things in this tank. Look at that yawn. We got the Phosphorochromus rostratus. Super awesome, super sexy cichlid right here. Another predator. Let's see what else we got in here. I think I've gone through most of them. Uh, here we got the Stigmatochromus modestus red. This is another ambush predator. So this guy is a juvenile, which he currently is. They are this brown color. 
when they mature into a male, they will have a blue and red body and they are simply stunning. The Stig Metochromus Modestus Red. And last but not least, we got the Exochromus Anagenis, another hunter of the lake. So these fish hunt for their prey in Lake Malawi. They again go after small mbuna and some small haps, uh, like the uh, uh, excuse me, the bukonoto will feast on small haps in those open open water sandy areas. And then fish like the, um, well, most of them actually will hunt for imbuna. So that was the topic, guys, was to talk about these fish and how they hunt in Lake Malawi. And uh, I'm excited to be a predator hap tank owner. Uh, these guys have a long way to go to, to mature for the most part. Like this uh, Rostratus is pretty much fully there. The Buconoto is pretty much there. Um, fish like the Malawi Trout, uh, the Linny, the Exochromus anagenis, the Hawk, the Strigatus, the Stigmatochromus modestus red, they all have a long way to go um, as far as becoming fully mature and in full color. Hunting cichlids, guys and gals. Hunters of Lake Malawi. Everybody, please leave this video a thumbs up, a comment, hit that subscribe button, and stay tanked.